All right, guys, I am back, and we are going to keep cooking along on this thing. Um, went and got Miss Grace, and she's tired, which is awesome. It's always awesome when they come back tired, because then you know they had a good time. And this little friend that she has is super adorable. Um, so, yeah, we are always excited when she gets to spend some time with her. She's just a really good girl. So I'm just going to continue on decorating the inside of this. And actually first, safety first, right? Always close up your blades, right? Anyhow. We might have some shenanigans here in a little bit. Little Miss Faith is underneath my chair. For now, she's just grooming herself. <laughs> Which, that's what she usually does to talk me into letting her back into the craft room. Can't tell you how many times she's been grounded from coming back here. Um, and in case you don't know, Faith is... Um, I explained it back like probably May, June, July time. Not sure when. Um, there's this feral mama cat who likes to bring babies to all the neighbors' houses, and our house was the lucky winner this year, and so there was three of them. Um, we named them Faith, Hope, and, oh my gosh, I can't remember the little boy's name. Um, it was supposed to be Hope, Faith, and, Hope, Faith, and Love, but since he turned out to be a boy, we figured... That wasn't a really good name for him. Um, so, yeah, we uh, rehomed the neighbors, asked um, for kittens. So um, I ended up giving uh, Hope and the little boy to her for her kiddos. Um, and they're up to shenanigans, of course. Um, and then Faith is my cat. Um... And boy, doesn't she know it. She is a spoiled, spoiled little girl. Um, but she is a calico, long hair, and she's full of it. Um, much like my dog. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I tend to spoil the things that are things or um, humans and people that I love. Um, so yeah, she's rotten to the core. Like, there is no... Oh, am I out of the green? I think I am. Okay, well, we won't be for long, right? And I think this is upside down, but I don't think that matters right now. It will matter in a minute, but not right now. Okay, and ruler right in front of your face, Goober. Um, yeah, so anyways, she's been grounded out of my craft room before because no ribbon is safe with her. And yeah, um, maybe towards the end of the video, um, when they were baby kittens, I had every intention of showing you them, but then, you know, they got to be crazy kittens and, um, it just never, sometimes like when they were real, real little, they did, they came, came back, but it's been a while since she's, um, been allowed back here. So, um, normally when she's. We call her Psycho Cat sometimes when she's doing her Psycho Calico thing. She is crazy. And plus this camera setup, the way it is, it's not like I can go, like I can't really zoom out anymore. And I mean, she's she's a pretty, pretty big girl now. And I think I'm going to get smart and go this direction like I didn't before. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm sure you guys in the last video were like, you know, if she turned it a little bit, it would be long enough. Anyhow. Yeah, so you might get to see her.
So Gracie said she had a great time at the rodeo. Yeah, so I don't even know what to talk about now because this you're seeing this so far into the future. So I'm sure by the time the other videos, because the ones that are up next are um, my design teams for MFMS Treasures and Crafty Cat. And then I've got some really, really, really cool um, graphics to show you on a, um, on a uh, featured Shop Friday. I've got two really great kits from two really great ladies to show you. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it and tell you who they are yet. Um, by the time this airs, you'll already know who it is. Um, cause those will air probably this Friday, which is the third. Probably. I think. I'm not sure. Isn't that just gorgeous paper? Oh, I just love it. All right. So... What do we got left here? Well, guess what? That looks like it's just about right. Yep. Okay, let's ink that girl up. Oh, let's get that out of there. Actually, I don't want to use that one. That one's got a little bit of printer um, stuff on it. That'll be all right, but I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and t use my other tear ruler. Oh, one of them is full of it now. Oh, must be her. She left. If she comes back, I'll uh, pick her up and show, you, show her to you. There we go. A little more rippy. Oops, sorry. Did mean to jiggle, you guys. Hope you didn't get seasick off that one. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I don't even know if I'm gluing. I mean, not that you guys care about gluing, I would guess, but I don't even know if I'm really in frame. Probably not. Yep, as soon as I get these little things done here, I think I decided I was like stressing out really bad about getting my table put together um, and getting my new setup done. But it was stressing me out so bad. I was like, oh, I got this to do and that to do. So by the time you actually see this, it, I might already have it done. I decided, you know what? Knock it off. You don't need to stress out about it. I guess, that, like, I, I don't know. I think I'm stressing myself out about the new year and um, all the commitments that I've made. And not that I'm regretting any of it by any means. Because I, I prefer to burn the candle at both ends. Um, I've just always been that way. The busier I am, the happier I am. Um, I don't really like idle time. Okay, so that's the inside cover. Oh, I just love that. Uh, it is coming together how I pictured it. So yes, yay. I'm all excited here. All right, so, um, go ahead and tear that one down just a little. But at any rate, like I was saying, um, I was stressing out, like, especially over Christmas break, like, oh, I got to get it out because it's, it's sitting right next to our pool table in the other room. And, um, I've been stressing out. Oh my gosh. You know, my house is such a mess because, well, it is. I still haven't picked up the Christmas goo. I mean, kind of like I've delegated 
not delegated, but I've regulated the stuff, like the kids' stuff, to their rooms um, and that sort of thing. But there's still like the remnants, like Christmas is still up, which sounds weird to say since, you know, you're seeing this so far into January. But as of January 1st, the tree is still up, all, you know, the cats won't leave it alone. I've just been kind of stressed out about that. Um, but I think to myself, I usually don't have my tree down until around the 15th of January anyway, so just relax. Um, this tax thing is going to, I think, explode this year. I think I'm going to be busier than I've ever been with it before, which will be way cool. And um, I'm excited because I know I've told you guys this before, but I love numbers. I like... I like doing taxes. I know that sounds really crazy, but um, I've been a bookkeeper for so long that I just, it really appeals to my brain because I don't like, like I said, I like to be busy and that kind of thing just keeps my mind agile, I think. So yeah, I enjoy it. I do enjoy that. And I do think that we're going to have to end up laying these kind of flat. I don't know. Usually sewing kind of um, irons it all out. So, but I do think I'll set it aside. Um, you know, I may end up reprinting some of this. Yeah, that'll look all right. Um, well, I mean, you know what? I could just... Um, cause here's what I like to do. I like to print out one, one set of basically show and tell graphic pages. Um, so that when I, I don't have to like reprint it later when I'm doing another video on it, I like having it right there to where I can just say, Oh, this is the kit I'm using. Um, this is what comes in it. I like that portion of it. But sometimes when you're on video, you have to use it, right? Um, cause it obviously, you know, I could pause the video and move on or, you know, go, go print out more or whatever. But, um, I think today, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think I have enough to finish these covers and this other part here. So... end up having to go back and re-glue that since it took me so long to get it lined up there. Okay, now do I have a rectangle piece already? really that close to the end of that stuff well you know I could do this <gasps> oh gosh don't you all fall off there oh you guys must laugh and laugh and laugh I mean I guess I would be
I would definitely be laughing at me if I were you guys. Anyways, um, yeah, so hopefully by the time I start, re and I won't say refilming, but filming later on, like next week, um, hopefully um, I will have the room clean, room organized, and then I'll be able to um, you'll, um, the different camera set up, because I'm thinking that I will have my tripod on one stand, like on one table, and then be able to swivel it back and forth depending on what I'm doing, whether I'm sewing or whatever. And then it also, it won't be as wobbly. That's what I'm thinking. Is that what's really going to happen? Gosh, I hope so. Okay, and I think I'm going to do what I did before. Use the Fabri-Tac to stick it down. How about that one-handed? You know what I can't forget to do? I cannot forget to put that slit in there. Or did I already do that? No, I didn't do that yet, did I? Okay. Excuse my head if it gets in frame. about that excuse me while I wipe the nonsense off my blue bottle didn't do. I didn't ink those sides up, but I think it'll be all right. glues be good Get the glue book out of the way for a second and I think the only other thing we're gonna manage to get done in this episode is the spines maybe
Ugh. the one drawback to Fabri-Tac. Once it gets on there, it doesn't come off, does it? Looks like I'll be cleaning scissors tonight, too. Okay, let's get the slit cut before I forget about it. I'm wondering if I kind of just pinch in there. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, I'm such a goober. Remember what I did? I purposely highlighted it, remember? So I can just go back in the original hole here and cut the hole. Maybe. I think I just need a new blade. I think this was just a bummer blade. Okay, and see what I mean? See how that, you saw me paste a ton of that glue on everything and see it's popping right here. See it? So I don't know if I just got a bad batch of Uhu or what, but yeah, I've had to be really, really careful with it because obviously I'm not going to send that out to the public popping like that. And I've never seen anybody else's doing that, so that's what leads me to believe I just got a bad batch or something. And it doesn't do it in all the spots. It just does it, like, in a few. Did I even get any glue in there? Seem like it, does it? Oh, maybe I did. Okay. All right. So then let's take that little piece out. Get us some ink. Okay. Okay, so that is how the cover looks so far. I'm not even sure how many minutes we're at right now. But I suppose right now it doesn't matter, right? Creativity rules. All right, so for the spine, I'm thinking, let me grab some of this. I wonder if that's long enough. Oh my gosh, how cool would that be if it's long enough? I'm thinking about these. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay, now, so you want it about like that, about like that. right in front of me. I was like, oh, where did I put my scissors? I don't like having two or three pairs right in frame, huh? better with more yeah I think I like that better the other way it just kind of looked like I don't know what it looked like okay oh wait 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 no okay so I had it right oh my gosh what a goof 
And we decided this way was better, right? More of the butterflies are right side up. All right, so, right, because it closes, tucks, right, okay. So I am just winging it here, guys. And we'll just see what we get in the end. Sorry, we got getting quiet again, um, guys, but hmm. I feel like you're probably watching a silent movie. But I think that happens sometimes when we get into uh, um, things are starting to come together. Kind of get just quiet. we're going. All right. All 
Oh, and you're probably listening to the washer go, or yeah, I guess that is the washer. All right, so that is our spine. And remember I said before, let it dry completely and it'll stop the buckling of this right here. Okay, now we need to decide what to do with this piece here. This one here. And I have some, if I can find it really quick, um, Tim Holtz. I don't know where that container ended up. Oh, there it is. No, that's the birds. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some thinking on that. Or, let's see. Too much color, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I don't hate that kind right there. And we don't really want it really bulky in that area. So I guess if I could find more greens to go there, that would be okay. I guess this is almost kind of taking on a springy effect, huh? Or summer. I'll we'll have to trim off the ends there. Let's go for it, right? It's leading us where it's leading us. What I was saying is I don't want it overly thick here, right? Because we don't want it to bind up in anything. But I think it needs it for stability. And that would be our poly. Grace is running to go grab it, so I don't need to worry about it. I will have to go, though, soon because i got to go fix some dinner. Yeah. So we'll finish gluing this and then we'll call this one a video. And then when we come back, I will we'll have already laid this out flat and sewed it and then probably sewed its signature in. Um, I don't feel like we need to revisit that um, unless you guys are feeling like you need we need to revisit that. Um, cause we have new subscribers all the time and sometimes they're not, um, they're just new to junk journaling. They're just checking it out. Um, so yeah, there might be some repeats coming up here soon, guys. Um, so you have just bear with me and bear with the new kids and I mean, what you guys always do anyways. I mean, I think for the most part is they're always game for sure game for just videos all right and I think that green I think we'll stick with that and then we'll yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. I'm liking it. I think the mosaic thing is kind of coming to fruition. I hope I'm still in frame. I don't think that's Paul on the phone. She's talking a little bit longer than she would if it were Paul on his way home. Oh, I'm loving it. I don't 
know about you kids, but I'm kind of liking this. I'm going to trim this up all around the edges and then I'm going to lay it flat to dry and then I will see you guys back in just a bit. All right, we will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.